ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ಹರಂ ಚೈವನೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ We were in this uh, shlokam Aja Sarveshwa Siddha Siddhi Sarvadirachyuta Prashaka Parameyatma Sarva Yoga Vinahistrata That's where we were. And uh, I think we completed the verse and we were dwelling a bit on Siddhis. We saw the regular Ashta Siddhi of Anima Mahima, Garima, Laghima, Prapti, all that. Prakamya, Ishatva, Vashatva. Then we saw some other uh, classification. One, Parakaya Pravesham, the ability to leave one's body and enter another body. We say Hadi Vidya, the ability to overcome hunger and thirst. Kadi Vidya, the ability to remain unaffected by seasons, weather, cold, hot. Vayu Gamana, I said flying. Madalasa Vidya, changing the size of the body at will. It can become small, it can become big. Kanakadhara, the ability to get, uh, get gold. Adi Shankara did that. Adi Shankara, when he was a small boy, after his investiture with the Holy, uh, with the Upanayanam, he had gone for bhiksha to a very poor lady's house who had nothing to give him except a small gooseberry, Nalika. So in sheer compassion, this young boy sang the Kanakadara Stotram and there was a shower of gold coins or gold. Similarly, Vedanta Deshika. Vedanta Deshika in Kanchipuram again. Like it happened in Kanchipuram. Some mischievous people told a young brahmachari who, who wanted to get married, who had no money. He told him, you go to Deshika and he will give you. He has a lot of money. He had nothing. Deshika had no money. Some mischievous people set, them, set him on. So the boy came and said, He wants to get married, he has no money and I am told you have a lot of money if you can give me. Then was composed the Shri Stuti and uh, there was a shower of gold again. Shri Stuti is a Stuti to Lakshmi, that he said. Anyway, Kanakadara, then Prakya, a yogi can direct his, his, disciple, his disciple to be born from a particular room. Womb, so he'll be born here to this mother. It may be a childless, it may be a barren woman, it could be anything. A yogi can actually decide a, a jivan jeevan to be born where? That's a, that's called that. Then there's Surya Vidya. Use, this, is, this used to be there. The ability to use sun's rays to transform substances from one to the other. Sun's rays are many things, Surya Vidya. And Vrata Sanjeevani, the ability to bring to life a person who is dead. So these are some of the classifications of Siddhis and there are some more. Dura Shravanam, the ability to hear things that are happening far. Swachanda Mrityu, the ability to die on as per one's desire, will, when, 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 how, etc. Yeah, Ishmael. Then Devanam Krida Anudarshanam, the ability to sport with the celestials like Apsaras and all that, Devas. Trikala Jnanam, the ability to know past, present, future. Parachitta Adi Abhigyata, knowing the mind of others, we will read others' minds. Agni, Arka, Ambu, Visha, Adinam, Pratishthamba, Agni, Fire, the ability to control the effects of the, 
of things such as fire or the sun or water or poison etc that is fire will not burn that person if it is water will not make that person wet or he can undo the effects natural effects of these things what poison will not affect like that these are all siddhis aja sarveshwara siddha siddhi sarvadiruchit prashaa kapitame yatma sarva yoga vinisada to aap se siddhi ka naam hai sarvadi 99th name sarvadi meaning beginning of all the first one sarvadi the first one the origin if you may then the next one the 100th name sarvadi rachutah achutah who does not slip who does not forsake his devotees that is achutah chutah means to slip achutah he does not slip does not fall there is no fall for him he does not forsake his devotees वृषाकपिरमेयात्मा वृषाकपि वृषाकपि इज सेट टू पॉइंट टू वराह पेरमाण वृषा आदिशंकर सेज इज द शवर ऑफ धर्म सो इट्स द लॉर्ड ऑफ धर्म कपि इज हियर रेफरिंग टू वराह एंड रेफरेंस इज गिवन टू वर्स इन महाभारत इन शांति पर्व कपिर्वरा श्रेष्ठ धर्म वृष उच्य तस्मा वृषा कपिप्रा काश्यपोमा प्रजापति कपिर्वरा श्रेष्ठ सो कपि मीन्स वरा श्रेष्ठ धर्म मीन्स वृष डे फोर कपिर्वरा इज धर्म वरा तस्मा वृषा कपिप्रा हो सो वरा पेरमा दी नित्यकल्याण पेरमा in tiruvidanda is varaha permal temple likewise in north india you know near the current ayodhya sthalam the bara banki district that bara is actually varaha banki is vana varaha vana in hindi they call it sukar khet it's also associated with varaha permal the next nama is ameya atma one whose nature is beyond comprehension beyond your mental grip completely beyond comprehension 103 sarva yoga vinistrata sarva yoga vinistrata adi shankara says devoid of all contacts sarva sambandha vinirgata no associations whatsoever completely unassociated with anything whatsoever bhattar says attainable by all means that his his view of sarvayoga nisita is the lord who is attainable by all means we go along vasur vasu na hasatya samatma sammita samah amogah pundari kaksho vrish karma vrish akriti vasu vasu means indweller one who is inside there is being vasu vasu naam pavakascha asmi bhagavad gita says among vasu i am pavaka vasu mana vasu mana means of great mind of great mind also butter says parasar butter says he treasures his devotees in his mind the lord treasures his devotees in his mind therefore is called vasu mana vasu vasu mana satya satya is is reality it is truth it is existence all that is satya samatma samatma is got a few meanings the same self the unperturbed self that's a few then one more butter says he is impartial towards all it's also samatma lord is impartial towards all samatma sammita sammita is in some it's 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 both viewed as asammita and sammita because sandhi both meanings have been given asammita means unlimited and samita means butter says it means he who is within the reach of his devotees he is not unreachable he is within the reach of his devotees samah is ever the same samatma samita samah or of equal disposition equal disposition towards all <clears throat> and then amogha pundari ka aksho vrish karma vrish akriti no amogha amogha means is not futile Okay. fruitful 
worshipping whom is fruitful ha huh? there amoga in ramayana brahma tells rama amogham darshanam rama nachamoga tavastava amogaste bhavishyanti bhakti mantasch ye naraha o rama says brahma amogham darshanam rama your your darshan of you it can can never be futile it is it's very fruitful nachamogha tavastava if i sing your praise it can never be futile it will have it will be fruitful and whoever are your bhaktas all people are your bhaktas they were the amogaste bhavishyanti they will be they, they will be it will be fruitful and fruitful alone for them never futile amogha pundari kaksho pundari kaksha means one who is in the heart lotus one who is seen in the heart lotus pundarika aksha seen in the heart lotus vrsha karma vrsha karma means dharma karma of righteous action vrsha is usually with dharma vrsha means dharma vrsha karma means of righteous action vrsha kriti dharmartha akriti shariram yasya sah Vrsha means dharma, akriti means form. The dharma has taken form. Who whose form itself is dharma, he is vrsha akriti. That's why he says dharma sanstapana artha ya sambhavam yuge yuge. It's for establishment of dharma that I am manifesting time after time. You will recall in earlier in Bharatam when uh, Draupadi's uh, humiliation was happening and she was crying for Krishna. and he, he he came he says how oh, is that 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 the the clothes that 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 came to save her was dharma itself the krishna he says dharma came he says the krishna dharma the dharma rakshati rakshita actually if you if you really sit down and think through some of these things you really find it's true there's no reason why uh certain things happen to certain people certain things don't happen to certain people if so long as you are, are upholding dharma then there is a force that of dharma that protects you that happens okay next shlokam rudro bahu jiraba bhur vishayo ne shuchi shrava amrita shastra sthanu vararo mahatapa rudro rudro means संहार काले प्रजा संहरण रोदयती रुद्र ही इज वन हू डिस्ट्रॉय ऑल पीपल ड्यूरिंग प्रलयकाल संहार काल देर फोर इज कॉल रुद्र मर पराशर भट्टर हेज अ डिफरेंट टेक ऑन दिस नेम ही सेज इट इज मीन ही इज द वन हू मेक्स इज डिवोटी क्राई इन जॉय हैव टीयर्स ऑफ जॉय देर फोर इज कॉल्ड रुद्र बहुशिरा ऑफ मेनी हेड्स सहस्त्र शीर्षा पुरुष थाउजेंड हेड्स इज गॉड सहस्त्र बहुशिरा बब्रु बब्रु बिभर्ती बब्रु सपोर्टर ही इज वन सपोर्ट्स इट्स ऑल्सो द नेम ऑफ सैटर्न इट्स वन सपोर्ट्स बब्रु आहना विश्व न विश्व योनि इज द कॉज ऑफ द यूनिवर्स बब्रू इज मीन बिबर्ती सपोर्ट शुचिश्रवाह विश्व योन ही कॉस ऑफ द यूनिवर्स बूम ऑफ द यूनिवर्स वट एवर यू शुचिश्रवाह शुचिश्रवाह मीन शुचीनी शुचीनी ना प्यूर् नेम्स होली नेम्स ये होली नेम्स पराशर भट्टर से शुचिश्रवाह मीन ही लिसन टू दि होली वर्ड्स ऑफ हिस डिवोटीज द प्योर वर्ड्स ऑफ हिस डिवोटीज अमृत शाश्वत स्थाणु वरारो महातपा अमृत अमृत मीन इमोटल ऑलसो द नेक्टर ऑफ इमोटालिटी अमृत अमृत शाश्वत स्थाणु इज कंसिडर्ड एज वन वर्ड टू कैदर शाश्वत मी शाश्वत मीन एवर ऑलवेज ऑलवेज द सेम एटर्नल शाश्वत स्थाणु अमृत Uh, Stanu is also firm, eternally firm. Stanu means firm, eternally firm. Vararoha, vararoha means 
ஆரோகணம் மீன்ஸ் ஆக்சென்ட் அசெண்டிங் வராரோக மீன்ஸ் தி கிரேட் தி கிரேட்னஸ் டு விச் யூ மஸ்ட் அசெண்ட் ஆர் த சுப்ரீம் கோத் தட்ஸ் வராரோக ஃப்ரம் ஹியர் ஆன் த நெக்ஸ்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் நேம்ஸ் பராசர் பட்டர் சேஸ் ஆர் டிஸ்கிரிப்டிவ் ஆஃப் லார்ட் விஷ்ணு அஸ் விஷ்ணு மகாதபாக நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் மகாதபாக is uh, essentially in in we we tapa in this here it is interpreted as knowledge and mahatapa is of, as of great knowledge and parashara butter says it refers to the aspect of vishnu as sankarshana next one sarvaga sarva vidbhan aur vishvak seno janardana vedo veda vidavyango vedango veda vid kavi sarvaga sarvaga sarvatra gachati iti sarvaga he goes everywhere is all pervading sarvagah sarvavit all knowing i also adi shankara combines sarvavit with next one see he says sarvavit bhanu is one word he says all knowing sun sun is all knowing all knowing sun he says one word whereas parashar bhatta splits it into two he says sarvavit is sarvakariya vindati he gets success in all works and he says this relates to vishnu's aspect as pradyumna and bhanu is one who shines the sun <coughs> so sarvagah sarvavit bhanu vishvak seno he who has army everywhere and defeats enemies armies in all directions is called vishvak sena he who is on pada is everywhere army is everywhere and who defeats army this thing uh, the, the army is in all directions called vishwaksena the aspect of ganesha in in a, in a vishnu temple is also called vishwaksena you will find in tirupati temple there be in ganesha with, with uh, na, namam called vishwaksena first first offering first worship is offered to him actually nirmalyam also comes to him i think srinivasa's nirmalyam is brought to him he is the commander in chief of the army there so he is vishwaksena Okay. Now, yeah, he is he defeats the enemy enemies in all directions. But I just reminded of sir this this um, Sardar joke where the um, the major or somebody said that sir we are surrounded in all directions. Said then no problem we can we can fight in any direction. Okay, Janard na. ஜனார்தன ஜனார்தன மீன்ஸ் ஜனானு துர்ஜனானு அர்த்தயத்தி ஹினஸ்தி இது ஜனார்தன பனிஷர் ஆஃப் விக்கெட் பீப்புள் இ பனிஷஸ் விக்கெட் பீப்புள் தட்ஸ் வை இஸ் கால்ட் ஜனார்தன நரகாதியின் கமேதி இது வா ஜனார்தன அண்ட் இ சென்சிப் டு ஹெல்த் ஹெல் அஸ் வெல் இட் இஸ் கால்ட் ஜனார்தன தேர் இஸ் எ டெம்பிள் ஆஃப் ஜனார்தன இன் கேரளா வெரி ஃபேமஸ் டெம்பிள் இன் வர்க்கலா டூ தௌசண்ட் இன் ஓல்ட் டெம்பிள் வர்க்கலா ஜனார்தன ஓகே வேதோ வேதோ வேத விதவ்யங்கோ வேதாங்கோ வேத வித் கவி வேத சர்வேதா சர்வவித்யா சர்வே யஜா சர்வயாஷ் கிருஷ்ண ராதிசங்கர ஆல் தி வேதாஸ் ஆல் தி வித்யாஸ் ஆல் தி சாஸ்திராஸ் ஆல் தி யஜாஸ் ஆல் தி ஆல் ஆஃப் தேட் இஸ் கிருஷ்ண அந்த ஜன்மாஷ்டமி டே வேதா Parashara Bhattar says this relates to Sri Vishnu's aspect of Sankarshana who is a propounder of the Vedas. Veda Vida Vedo Veda Vith Veda Vith means knower of Veda. Veda Vith Avyanga Avyanga means perfect. Parashara Bhattar says Avyanga means he has all the Vedangas. Actually, Vedanga comes in the next name as well. Ve- Vedo, Veda, Vida, Vyango, Vedanga, Veda, Vita, Kavi. But there it's interpreted in a different way. It doesn't matter. Vedangas are what? Six in number. There is Shiksha, Chandas, Nirukta, Vyakarana, Kalpa, Jyotisha. What are these? Shiksha deals with correct pronunciation of the Veda. how is be how, how is the vedas ye vedas maybe we have 0.001% left from what we had 
say 5000 years ago or 4000 years ago what we have now is very little although this itself is unimaginable be huge but how even this has been retained because of all these vedangas are there to ensure that it does not get corrupted in any manner whatsoever there's a method by which all these are retained so there's a method of pronunciation etc all that will be there in shiksha chandas deals with the meter what is the meter of the verses gayatri chanda kushni anushtup chandas like that nirukta is the etymology of these words what does the word mean a vedic term is there what does it mean there should not be any there should be a method of understanding the meaning of the word this is deep actually we are talking thousands of years ago they they have done they got such things unbelievable absolutely incredible actually absolutely incredible so especially when people have to write, do commentaries and stuff their bhashyam they have to know the nirukta and all not just of the veda of anything they will know bhaskar raya who wrote the commentary on lalita sahasrama is supposed to have been a majorly good in his understanding and words He has written many works. Atal Sahasrama Bhashyam is one of them. He has written Bhash Bhashyam on Ganesha Sahasrama, which is on 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 Ganesha. There Sahasrama is written Bhashyam. There in the first verse itself, in Gananatha, normal meaning of Gananatha is who he who is the Natha of Ganas, the Lord of Ganas. Whereas he splits it up. into ganana and atha so he atha is auspicious ganana is he who is enumerating whose qualities is auspicious like that if some nirukta is with that likewise so they, they that's how they are, they get so many meanings deep meanings into all words so that is nirukta vyakarana is grammar panini is Before Pandini, there was heavy grammar. Pandini majorly put it back into a certain. That has never been reached actually. Pandini's grammar, even now, any 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 other language, a very very linguist you take with great awe, Pandini's grammar. Kalpa is all the rituals, rites, etc. That are there in the Veda and all that will be. In Kalpa, Jyotisha is uh, astronomy, the planets. So, like that, these are the Vedangas. Vedo Veda Vyango Vedango Vedanga Veda Anga Bhuta Yesha Sah. He whose body is the Veda is Vedanga. He says, Vedango Veda Vid Kavi Veda Vid. Here the Veda Vid is. He says is. वेदान विंते विचारेति इति वेदवित ही हु इंक्वायर्स एंड स्प्रेड्स द नॉलेज अबाउट द वेदा इज कॉल्ड वेदवित ही डेलिब्रेट्स ऑन इट इंक्वायर्स ऑन इट एंड देन स्प्रेड्स दैट नॉलेज शेयर्स इट एटसेट्रा इज कॉल्ड वेदवित कवि ही कवि इज सीयर वन हु सीज ऑल सीयर इज कवि ही ओके सो 